I paid £44 for a Xbox One S and I thought I got scammed on this because it took 13 days to arrive. Absolutely ridiculous on posting but apparently this is a no power issue and today we're going to try and fix it. But if you are new to the channel and you like this type of content I would really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and turn on the bell notifications and that way you don't miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel then you can head over to Twitch and become a Twitch Prime subscriber for free by linking an Amazon Prime account and then subscribing to my channel on Twitch. There will be a link in the video description to that. So with that being said, let's get into this. Today's video is brought to you in part by Zilch. With Zilch, you can spread the cost of payments in three easy to manage payments. Purchases made using Zilch Pay in 3 are simple to set up and interest free. Personally, I use Zilch for a lot of my online purchases on eBay, Amazon, and even in local shops where I can spread the cost of payments over three easy to manage payments. On top of that, if you use Zilch for everyday purchases, you'll get 2% cash back on transactions when paying in full. You can pay in full using either Google Pay or using the virtual debit card that's provided by Zilch anywhere where MasterCard is accepted. As you can see from my transaction list here, I use it on eBay, I use it at local shops, I use it on Uber Eats, and I even pay my car finance where I'll pay in full and earn 2% back. I also occasionally use Zilch to pay in free when money's a little bit tight. I recently bought a PlayStation 5 on eBay for £218.61 and that payment is next due in 7 days. 25% was taken directly from my visa at the time, and then 25% in 7 days, and then 25% a further 2 times. I also use Zilch to earn referral rewards, and for every person that you refer, you'll both get £15, completely free. Simply use my referral code in the video description and start earning cash back or spreading the cost of payments today. Now back to the video. Right, so as you can see here, we've got this Xbox One S. It says it's a 1TB console and only 40 no power and order date was 7th of July and the reason I thought I I'd been scammed I actually literally was about to open a dispute on it and then it turned up yesterday and you know it's the 21st of July today so you can see it come yesterday uh, yeah really annoying but as you can see here it was £35.899 delivery and if we go down to the listing you can see that it says that it doesn't power on, blah, blah, blah. Powers on for a second and then powers off again. Let's see what we're dealing with, shall we? So we'll plug it in. And yep. Okay. So it's definitely a beep on and beep off issue. The beep on beep off issue is what we call it when it just turns on for a second and then it just goes straight back off. So let's get it apart, shall we? So this has been looked at before, and I think this is a commercial seller. So I'll pop the base off, and I'm going to disassemble this thing. Right, we are then. So all of the screws are out, and uh, it is the one terabyte hard drive. So I'm just going to get these peripherals out. And uh, okay, that disk drive cable was a bit loose. I'm wondering if someone's been inside to get a disk out. I don't know if it's actually got a disk in. It, I'm not sure if it makes a different sound, but it sounded like it was trying to eject a disk when I tried to turn it on with the eject button. I'm not sure if it makes a different sound. Hang on a minute. Hang on a second. I don't think this is the right disk drive. Oh wow. Wow, this is a parts thrown together console. Are you fucking kidding me? This is a parts thrown together. Look at this. This isn't even the right disk drive. Okay. Well, 
yeah, there's, look at this. There's a screw missing there. The front plate is missing. The power cable isn't even the correct power cable. So if we take a look here at this, this is one with two complete rows of pins. The Xbox One S doesn't have two complete rows of pins. The Xbox One S has... Uh, the Xbox One S has a pin missing in the middle. That's not even the correct disk drive. This is an Xbox One original disk drive. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, now I need to test the hard drive. Okay, so here's the hard drive. Serial number is WKP56R0V. I'm going to keep this in one shot. If it'll focus, there we go. Let's plug that hard drive in. I've got a feeling that this is a parts thrown together case. Right, I can't find my external caddy. Um, to be honest, I'm really annoyed straight away. This this is the problem with eBay this is a, and the thing is a lot of people would just give up because this is uh, sold a C well we didn't see it and the listings are not in the, the issues are not in the description nowhere in the description does it say that it doesn't contain the original disk drive uh, so a lot of people they will give up right now just because it's sold a scene, it does not mean that you can't send it back, okay? So I've just left a message here on the return details and it says, this item was purchased on 7th of July and took 13 days to arrive. I proceeded to inspect the item today and the console appears okay on the outside. However, the disk drive included with the console is not the original disk drive. This item is scrap. The disk drive that is included is from an original Xbox One console, which means even if I attempt to repair and got this console working, I would not be able to use it. Complete fraud. This full refund and return is the only resolution. Here's the thing with this. I could attempt to repair on this. I could get it working, all hunky-dory, fine, it worked fine, until the next update, and then I can't use it again. This item is literally scrap. I cannot use it. So, this wasn't in the description. It didn't say that the disk drive had been swapped. It didn't say that the disk drive had been messed with. It didn't say that the disk drive was even damaged. It's damaged. I know you might think I'm being a little bit melodramatic here, but this is exactly what is wrong with eBay. And this is what I am sick of seeing on eBay. Just for fun, I'm going to have a look at the rest of the console and just see if any repairs have been attempted. Just for fun. I'm not going to be attempting a repair on this, so if that's what you're coming for, I apologise. I'm not going to be attempting a repair on this. But However, I am going to get my money back on this. It doesn't matter whether it's listed as for parts or not working. It doesn't matter whether it says no returns accepted. This console is scrap. It is not as described. I purchased this in good faith, believing that I could at least attempt to repair or use it for parts. Now, here's the clincher when it comes to using it for parts. Yes, I could use this for parts. I could use the power supply. I might be able to use the hard drive. But I bought this with the intention of buying Xbox One S parts, not Xbox One original parts. And this is an Xbox One original part. The Xbox One S and the Xbox One X share the same connector. So the daughter board that is inside this console, or rather inside this disk drive, is not from an original Xbox One S. Or rather it's from an original, not an Xbox One S. I'm slipping up on words which I don't do very often on videos, but and that's just because I am really, really angry. I'm really annoyed. I'm sick of sellers like this, and yeah, I'm going to get my money back. But just for fun, I'm going to take a, look, a further look at the board. Why not? All right. So, just for the sake of it, let's just take another look at the board here. 
So this is a parts console. I, I doubt the hard drive even works. I haven't submitted that yet because I want to. I want to submit a full report with photos. Okay. All looks well and good so far. I am super annoyed right now. I'm not gonna lie. I am super annoyed. I don't get very. I don't get annoyed very often when it comes to buying stuff off eBay. But this is one of those scenarios where I am just so sick of seeing the same thing over and over and over again. And I'm not going to lie down and take it. I am not going to lie down and take it. Alright, so you can see here I have not done any damage to this console by taking this off. And no signs of prior repairs. There is a little bit of corrosion around here. So could this have been fixed? Probably. Probably, yes. However, because of the fact that this is missing the original disk drive, there's no point. It's absolutely pointless in attempting this repair. We've got some corrosion around here as well, which means that it might have corrosion underneath the APU. But there's absolutely no point in attempting a repair on this. No point at all. So I'm going to submit that claim, and I'm not going to upload this video until I actually get a resolution. Or actually, yes, I will. I'll upload the video, and when I do get a resolution, I'll post a follow-up video. Stay away from this seller. This seller is very obviously selling things that they've just thrown together. In my opinion. I'll get that in there. Sue me now. I'm really, really annoyed. I'm sorry that this isn't going to be a repair video where, um, where you're actually going to get to see a repair. But this just highlights the joys of eBay these days. I've got a hair in front of my eye. It's really annoying me. I really need to get a haircut. Um, well, if I keep getting scammed like this, I won't be able to afford one. But anyway, yeah, I don't know what to say other than just stay away from that seller. Do not buy anything from that seller. Do not trust that seller. I'm going to leave negative feedback and I'm also going to open this dispute. I will post a resolution when I actually get one. Um, or rather, I'll post a follow-up video with the resolution just to show you all what happens. But... Uh, yeah, so it wasn't an actual repair attempt. I apologise for that. It is what it is. And uh, yeah, just be vigilant on eBay. Be careful of what you're buying on eBay. And uh, hopefully you don't get scammed like I very clearly have. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you do have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'll always do my best to answer. If you do want to organise a repair, you can do so by heading over to the video description. There's a link to my website there, consolefix.co.uk, where you can book in the repair or you can get in touch if you do have any comments or, que comments or questions. If you do have any questions about the repair. If you do want to support me, if you feel sorry for me, you probably shouldn't. But uh, if, you do, if you do want to support me, then you can head over to Twitch and become a Twitch Prime subscriber by linking an Amazon Prime account to Twitch. And that's absolutely free for you to do if you've got Amazon Prime. It does massively help me out though. It allows me to buy stuff on eBay and allows me to keep making videos. You can also become a channel member by clicking on the join button below the video. Or you can become a Patreon sponsor using the link in the video description as well. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye for now.